Vlogmas Day 12. So today's video is very special because I am interviewing my dad and I am just grateful that I can say that I have a really good relationship with my dad. Um, so please enjoy the video. I enjoy doing it and stay tuned for maybe a, actually not maybe, definitely. Um, I'll be interviewing my mother as well. Um, so stay tuned for those. And if you know my dad, you're gonna get to know him a little better. Okay, happy Vlogmas. So for this episode, I'm going to interview my dad and it's just gonna be about some life questions and maybe get to know him a little better. Okay, let's do this. Okay, what has been the happiest moment of your life? Happiest moment of my life? <coughs> they were moments <laughs> when all three of the you girls were born. Oh, did you Definitely hear that? my proudest. Yes. Okay. Um, what has been the saddest moment in your life? When I lost my daughter, when I lost Katie Jane. Okay. How would your parents describe you? My parents? I don't, I'm not sure. Except my mother being still alive would probably be a. I would think she was proud of me. Maybe confused. Yeah. Growing up, who inspired you the most? Probably my sisters. What is your biggest regret? <laughs> what is your biggest regret? They have dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, my biggest regret probably um, was my drinking, my, my drug addiction. Okay. I don't know if it's really a grant. I don't have any. Re I don't have regrets today. So. But if that didn't happen, then you wouldn't be where you're at right now. Exactly. So that's what I mean by regrets. Yeah. Okay. There's not too many, but if I had one that stood out, it would be my addiction. Okay. Um, what do you miss most about the good old days? My friends, Chris, Eddie. Okay. Um, you know, my hanging out with my sister Rhonda. You know, that that kind of thing. The younger one, my teenage years. Okay. Um, looking back at your life this far, what are you most proud of? My daughters. Yeah, my girls. Definitely. Oh, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what did you discover in the last decade or two that you wish you discovered sooner? How to have a relationship, healthy relationship. Any relationship? No relationship. Well, yeah, like, I guess you would say any, or... romantically, more importantly. Uh, but obviously, I've just discovered how to be a, a, a good father, good re relationship, a good employee. Mm -hmm. You know, some of these things that I can be better at. Okay. So, yeah. What advice would you give your younger self? My younger self? Uh, listen listen to the the people, the older people in my life a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the people like that, that were mo my role models. I listened to them, but I didn't listen to them like I should have. Mm -hmm. you know? What do you wish you made more time in your life for? My kids, okay. Uh, my uh, my other other family, my me and brothers and sisters. Mm. So yeah. And what have you always wanted to ask me? Uh, don't look it. Don't. <laughs> uh, what what I want to ask you? I don't know. Um. Hmm. That's a that's a tough question. But I would say, if I had to ask it right now, like you put me on the spot, it's like, when do you plan on having kids? Not anytime soon. Not anytime soon, okay. It, the thought is there in yeah. the back of my head. Okay. But I can guarantee you, I don't plan on having any kids soon. Yeah. Were you named after someone? Yes. The yeah. actor, Brian Keith. Really? My mom picked Alan because she didn't think Keith was a middle name. She could use it. <laughs> Can you tell me a story or any memory that you have with your brothers and sisters? The one uh, that stands out to you the most. Getting my ass whooped. <laughs> By who? Your sisters? My brothers and sisters. Oh, my sisters whooped my ass. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, that's playing softball is probably my, the funnest time I had with my family. Okay. Uh, when we get together and play softball. What were your favorite toys when you were growing up? Star Wars. All the figures. Star Wars? Yeah. What was your first job? Uh, the Lucas Variety Store, State News, hmm. Fifth and State. Really? How old were yeah. you? Fourteen. Wow. How did you find out you were going to be a parent for the first time? How? Yeah. Um, 
your mother told me. Oh, well, I'm glad she. T- I'm glad she was the one that told I, you. I don't remember it being um, like extravagant. Yeah, like. no. Yeah. Were you scared? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But happy. All kinds of mix. All kinds of feelings for an event like that in your life. It's just like, oh boy. Yeah. What is the funniest thing you can remember that one of your children said or did? It was you. Uh, first time you swore. <laughs> what? Where? What happened? Yeah, you get that from your mother's side. <laughs> uh, I was changing the remote. You mean you were sitting on the couch at three or four? And I was changing the remote. She keeps changing the channel. And you just re- look at me and said, Damn it, Dad, give me the remote. <laughs> wow, that's so funny. I tell that story every once in a while. Really? Uh, <laughs> every time I put it on the channel, I like 20, 30 seconds. And and the we're doing it on purpose? Yeah, at the, at the end I was. <laughs> I knew it was annoying you. Yeah. Um, if you had to do it all over again, would you change the way you raised your family? No, absolutely not. What did you find the most difficult about raising children? Being a good example. Mm. Living by what I thought. That we should live by? Yeah. What did you find most rewarding about being a parent? I don't know, the satisfaction of watching you guys, you girls grow up and the path you took for your profession just to watch it and still continue to watch it mm-hmm. so. thanks dad uh, let's see here do you remember your grandparents well my grandmothers but I, I, no, my, I never met my grandfathers that passed before I was born my both your grandfathers yeah but my grandmothers I, my grandmother Frances she was was that your mom's mom yeah she was a big you Big influence in my life, yeah. How old were you when she passed? <sighs> Ish. 19, 18. Oh, wow, uh, you were that old? I was a teenager, and yeah, I don't remember the time. Timeline's really hazy at that time because I was drinking mm-hmm. and doing all kinds of other stuff. But yeah, I mean, it was sad. It was sad. Okay. Has anyone ever saved your life? I, not any individual. Um, I have a group of people that saved my life my addiction and recovery that mm. continue to save my life. My other people that... Uh, Is there anyone you would like to thank? Did for me? No, uh, not, not individually. Okay. But, uh, I don't <laughs> you know who you know, are. Yeah, <laughs> I think they do. They, they, they impact my life, still impact my life. Okay. Um, How is the world different from when it was when you were a child to now? Uh, I think culturally or, or we're open more. We're more on the liberal side of things. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I've grown up on that side too, you know. I think it's different because I'm not raising my kids like I was raised. So mm. I think I see that in talk, when I talk to other parents and stuff. Generations have changed. So it's something that I get to see and experience watching you girls grow up and being a part of that, obviously. And That yeah, makes sense. And it's, uh, it's definitely different. So it's like having it passed on to generation to generation. It's always going to be better, like most parents want. Yes, want I have learned kids. a lot from you, Dad. What were the hardest choices you've ever had to make? The hardest one was to stop drinking. Mm. You know, the most difficult was to take my daughter off life support to make that decision. If you could change something about yourself, what would it be? Practice more patience, meditate more. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's something I really need, definitely still trying to work on. I'm not trying, I'm, I'm working on it, it's just getting a little bit In better. The process. I think as age comes along, it puts it you there better? anyways. It gets better, yeah. it gets a lot better. Okay, but I've no, I've been impatient at times. Have you ever met any famous people? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, who? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what Wayne Gretzky I met. Uh, Met Muhammad Ali. You did? Yeah, Roberto during uh, not Roberto. Um, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You met Muhammad Ali? Yeah. Where and when? At Dominic's restaurant. I was working. He Are came you in serious? And, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Wait, David Muhammad Ali. Yeah, he came in and ate. Nikki Fade has a nice had a nice picture. Wow. Um, he, there's a lot of famous Rocky Marciano. I met when I was younger. Mm-hmm. I did not know you met Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have a favorite book? Where the Red Fern Grows. 
I knew that. I knew that. I did know that. Um, flavor of ice cream. Favorite flavor of ice cream? Chocolate. Chocolate? Your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Braveheart. Do you have an all time favorite song? Mm. Stand by me. Oh. Tell me the story about my birth. Oh, it was a long labor. Your mom was in labor for a long time. They called me off for work in the afternoon. Yeah, it was long. And you just stayed with her? Until like mid minute you were born at midnight. Twelve or two, yeah. yeah. But I was in my work clothes. Was Are you it was serious? Warm. It was a record. You were in your work clothes the whole time? Yeah, because they called me right to the hospital from work. I don't know what time I... 11, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. and You weren't able to change into, like, hospital well, gear? Well, no, I know they didn't do it back then, you know. Mm. That would have been nice because when I went home after that, your mom was in the hospital, I went home. Of course, I had to stop at the bar before the bar closed. I went home and it was like I... Wait, after I was born? Yeah. So after I was born, you went to the bar? Oh, yeah. Celebrating. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. I went home and I peeled the clothes off there, so so grimy. Wow. It was night weather, record breaking. It was the year that uh, OJ. Um, the s trials. To, yeah, well, no, the, the, no, it was the year. It was two days after she was killed. Oh. So it was the Bronco. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because mom said that she like watched all that stuff. But it was ninety six degrees. Ninety. We had a week of ninety five plus. Did you ever want more children? Yeah, but not till later. Like how later? When you guys were starting growing up and you were little anymore. Oh. <laughs> this is a good one. What are your goals now that you aren't my caretaker anymore? Um, right now I'm working on putting more money away for retirement. Um, goals, that would be about it right now. Um, be more a part of it because the role has changed. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not been, that's what the last year it's been uh, since your sister went off. So yeah. maybe it's a... Uh, it's changed, and it's okay, but it's changed. Okay, good for you. Most humans don't like change. No, I don't like change. <laughs> <laughs> is there something you can identify about me that is completely identical to you? You might, your walk. <laughs> Get that all the time. And your feet, you got dad's feet. Thanks, dad. You're welcome, yeah. They're strong feet, they're just not pretty. <laughs> strong feet. Yeah, because there's a lot of it. There's a lot of foot there. Is there something about me that is completely the opposite of you? <clears throat> no. Not that I know. Not that you can... No. Hmm. Yeah, no, not that I know. Do you think I will or would be a good parent? Yes, absolutely. What is your favorite part about yourself? I think now my favorite part is I'm able to listen more to others instead of uh, listening to respond. Yes. I listen to hear. How did you, well, you didn't pick my name, so I'm not going to ask that. So when mom was like, her name's going to be Brittany, you're like, all right. Yeah. She had the girls, so I had the, the boys, but mm. of course I didn't make any boys. But so. you get to, you got to, where did you get Ashley from? Um, I don't know. Your mom got it from somewhere. Like I said, it wasn't mine. No, she said that you named Ashley. No. Mm. You didn't name Ashley? No. If I did, it was her direction. <laughs> did you name her middle name? That's like getting, you know, when you get married. Yeah. You know, when you have the wedding. Yeah. It's not the couple's wedding. It's the bride's. The bride makes all the decisions. For the girls, it was... You hear that very much? <laughs> <laughs> you just get to pick out your tux. <laughs> and say yes, dear. That's when you first start learning how to say yes, dear. And what made you feel ready to be a parent? Uh, I think um, being able to be there, taking care of you as a child, taking care of you girls as a child. Mm. Um, but I also had a lot of. Uh, people in my life that taught me how to take care of myself, mm -hmm. my sisters in general. My sisters were a big part of teaching me. My brothers did too, but in the taking care, my sisters were the ones that taught me how to take care of myself. Well, well thanks. Thanks for letting me interview you. You're very welcome, darling. I love you. I love you.